Hello everybody, this is Rob and I'm on day 13 of my April Fool's Comedy Month where I'm trying to do a review every day for the entire month of April pertaining to comedies. Well, today I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite comedies of all time. It's a movie I actually discovered when I was in college and I just happened to want to uh, watch a movie so I went over to the library and the title grabbed me and the summary um, grabbed me as well. And I thought, oh, I better, I'd like to check this movie out. It came out in 1936. It's a movie that I fell in love with. I really laughed hard at and I enjoyed it so much that when some of my friends uh, went to uh, visit me when I was at school, I insisted that we watch this movie and it was great. The movie is called my Man Godfrey. It stars William Powell, who is a derelict living in a shanty town in a dump near the East River during the Great Depression. Now, during a scavenger hunt, when um, one thing to find is a forgotten man, a wealthy socialite named Irene Bullock, played by Carol Lombard, brings him over to the Ritz uh, Hotel to win a prize, and she is so impressed with him, she decides to make him the family butler. And Godfrey realizes that this family is quite nuts. Irene falls in love with Godfrey. Her older sister Cordelia is a spoiled cold woman who always gets her way. Her mother is sponsoring an amateur musician and, and uh, she's quite chatty about practically nothing. Their father is the only practical one, but he has a hard time keeping discipline in this family. Imagine the bullets gathered together in only one room. Oh, Alexander, now you're not going to bring up those sordid business matters again, I hope. I've just been going over last month's bills, and I find that you people have confused me with the Treasury Department. Oh, don't start that again, Dad. I don't mind giving the government 60% of what I make, but I can't do it when my family spends 50%. Well, why should the government get more money than your own family? That's what I want to know. Why should the government get more than your own flesh and blood? Now, My Man Godfrey is an example of a screwball comedy that was popular in the mid-1930s up until the mid-1940s, and this movie is often the film that's cited as the first screwball comedy. Now, many people might say, Rob, this sounds like a romantic comedy, but screwball comedies like this film and Bringing Up Baby and His Girl Friday feature crazy characters, and it usually mocks romance, while in romantic comedies they tend to be a little bit more straighter and definitely about romance in general. These movies uh, tend to move at a quick pace, and in some of them, the female lead is the one that's trying to get into a relationship with the male character, which is what Irene is doing here with Godfrey, while in romantic comedies, it's normally the other way around, such as Roxanne, the movie with Steve Martin that I reviewed yesterday. Well, the cast in this movie, I think, is perfect. Carol Lombard plays Irene, and she is perfect. She gives a very lively performance as the silly character, and her mother is played by Alice Brady, and she also puts her own stamp on the character as the scatterbrained mother. Uh, Gail Patrick is excellent as the cold, spoiled older sister, and character actor Eugene Pallet is great as the frustrated father. Now, as for William Powell himself, he is great as the straight character that's basically the grounding of the lunacy that of these other characters that are happening around him. And his reactions to all these situations that are going on is, again, perfect. Did you notice these cheekbones? These flowers just came for you, miss. Where shall I put them? What difference does it make where one puts flowers when one's heart is breaking? Yes, miss. Shall I put them on the piano? Life is but an empty bubble. You don't sound very cheerful for a girl who's giving a tea party. Why should anyone be cheerful? Oh, is Irene giving a tea party? I'm not invited. I'll invite myself. Let's stick around, George. Sure, why not? All I have to say is some people will be sorry someday. Well, naturally, everybody will be sorry someday. For what? Some people will know for what, and then will be too late. This conversation is very confusing. Now, now, Irene, you mustn't confuse Carlos. He's practicing. <laughs> Are you asking for anybody in particular? Godfrey might be interested if he'd only turn around and look. The movie, I think, is a lot of fun. Um, it's full of very good visual gags. It's full of snappy dialogue that is both witty and silly. And I think it does a very good job at uh, commentary on the behavior of the spoiled lifestyle of wealthy people as, and contrasting it with those that are struggling. Now, while this was relevant during the Great Depression, when it was going, when this movie was being made, I think it's just as relevant now. Now, most screwball comedies don't really have a deep message, but this one about humility and having false pride does.
The movie is in the public domain, but if you're going to seek this movie out, I recommend uh, finding the Criterion Collection. It's got a very beautiful print. It's got the best print. It's great to watch. Most prints, like my copy here, are kind of worn and they got the specs and everything so i highly recommend tracking down my man godfrey i think it's a great movie that needs to be seen and like i said try to get the criterion collection if you can so that's my take on my man godfrey if you have seen the movie what are your thoughts on it uh go ahead and post your comments below um and uh, if you're interested please hit that like button and please um hit that subscribe button thank you very much for watching Gal with a goat. I've had to look at her for 20 years. That's Mrs. Bullock. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Tony, 